Did you know that this lipstick was illegal? Yeah, so this whole thing kicked off with Queen Elizabeth in the 1500s, and red lipstick was her thing. But since this was the 1500s, the church deemed it as illegal, but Queen Elizabeth didn't care. She was like, I'm an ant girl, I'm gonna do what I want. She believed that red lipstick actually had powers, and that it was magical, and that it could prevent death. Then she died. Then it became illegal again, and that was a whole thing. Across the pond in America, some states deemed it as a no-no as well. And listen to this. It was seen as witchcraft. As if men wasn't walking around in powdered lace fronts, but women was up to something, of course. When vampires were alive, it was seen as seductive. In the 1920s, it was mostly used with actors. Then Vogue came out and was like, you have been promoted. And they were like, everybody needs red lipstick. World War II, it was seen as victory red. No longer witchcraft, I guess. Then came along Marilyn Monroe, Rihanna, and Taylor Swift. 